Dynamic pricing has been a pretty big buzzword in the industry, and it's definitely heard it a lot more this year, largely because of a deal we did where we partnered with Tickets.com and Major League Baseball Advanced Media to make the San Francisco Giants the first professional sporting team and really the first primary ticket seller ever to actually implement full-on dynamic pricing. So, again, the question here is, what does that mean for everyone in this room? And, you know, I think it means a couple of things. First of all, come question time, I might be sitting in the most unpopular seat in the room. <laughs> but, uh, but, I mean, more realistically, let me uh, just start by kind of defining what dynamic pricing means, at least as it applies to live entertainment. So, again, this is very different than what you see in the airlines. I guess in this case, what we're talking about is, you know, currently this year for the Giants, there's 2,000 seats at AT&T Park that don't have a face value. Those prices now fluctuate based on market demand in much the same way that most of you change your prices, you know, leading up to an event when you're watching tickets either sell or not sell and watch things about an event change that makes you know, you know, before they t those tickets sell, that all of a sudden they're now more valuable. So what you're starting to see, and again, based on, you know, our customer pipeline right now and the early success we've been having with the Giants, this, is a this isn't just a trend. This is something that's going to start taking hold.